Greetings there, my fellow privateers. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Star Sector, Scrappy Privateer. Episode 52, Repairing Rep. Okay, we are left. Is that all of my expenses? I'm out of debt. Where's income? Yep, I'm out of debt. All paid up. Have uh, half a mil left. It's pretty good. So one of the wonderful things, uh, one of the wonderful ramifications of this is I'm going to have pretty high monthly income, meaning that I can support flying around with a way more expensive fleet now that I'm not constantly getting disrupted and blockaded. Right. Like well, that's one of the hidden benefits. Also, Marines, good freaking job. We we really turn the screws to Tritax so quick. They were like, what? That's right. Don't don't mess with us. Uh, so it looks like repairing the relations with Tritac and Persian League seems to be the popular option. Um, so the ways to do that most likely are to do the g the general sort of quests that are available to us um, that that pop up in the feed. So what we're going to want is a a fast moving fleet that can clear those quests quickly. So I'm going to pare down our um, our fleet here. I'm keeping the Dominators only because they're damaged and I would like to undemod them because they're pretty handy ships. Um, but I did mention that they needed... How many story points do I have? Three? I did mention that they needed um, uh, burn drives. So I'm going to get rid of the heavy armor and burn drive. ITU and burn drive uh, and, and aug drive for each one. Well, I don't know why that one has missile racks. we have Gauss Cannons for this? Yes, we do. How are these different? Oh, 14th Battle Group versus Normal. Got it. How are these different? Uh, Vulcan versus Light Assault Guns? Alright, let's put Vulcans in. I'm trying to have them be all identical. It's not to say that this is like a good design. It's just that they're all the same. Now. So, Tarting Cores is, uh, what? It's, um, 35%. And ITU is... 40%? So, yeah, 40% is better. Uh... And this is a faulty power grid. So th these will be repaired over time and, and the qualities will even out over time as a result. Uh, then if, so so they're going to be moving a little bit faster. Um, I probably don't need the second storage ships. So I'll put one away. And then knowing the types of missions that will be asked to do, uh, I want sensor equipment on these ships. So... I think how I'm going to build these is efficiency overhauls um, so that they're just a little bit more inexpensive to run and then uh, survey equipment. I change these ships like so regularly. So the survey equipment is going to allow us to survey um, planets very inexpensively fulfilling up quests for Persian and Tritac. And Tritac is very close to not being hostile, so I'm going to focus on them first, because we'll get more bang for a buck doing that. So here is my, essentially my errand fleet. And I am going to build in the augmented f uh, drive field for the um, for 14th Legion. So the 14th Legion will have a little bit more capacitor and vents as a result. Um, that's 40 points that I don't have to spend, which is kind of nice. The hedge does have a colony crisis, but they're related to AI cores. Yeah, so as long as I don't mess with AI cores, there's not going to be AI core inspections as part of the colony crisis triggers. Uh, and because I don't intend to mess with AI cores, we're not really going to butt heads with, uh, with them. 
Um, okay, so normalize relationship with Tri, Tack, and Persian League. And yeah, the uh, officers per ship make sense. Yeah, they're fine. So what is currently offered here? Not anything that is useful to us. So I'm going to head into core. Oh, we have no fuel. I'm going to fuel up and then head into core. I also might want to uh, consider... I'll keep the wormhole anchors on me for now. Um, but I might want to consider where I want to set up those wormhole anchors. Um, I could set up a wormhole anchor at Bereen here, which is like a neighboring um, system. So that I can wormhole from Bereen to somewhere else. Because getting to Bereen is very easy from Lengalata. So I'm going to set one of them up now at Bereen. Because brain is just a, a very quick hop. And I think this nascent gravity well is adjacent to a stable point, maybe. Yeah. I don't know if they stay close to one another, but we'll see. So we'll set up uh, Foxtrot. Heading to the core worlds, looking for work to fix relationships. Oops. And if you're wondering about the time it will take for um, for the gate ship, I'll, I'll, I'll get an announcement about that. Uh, I think I would have to go to local once I'm in my home system, but I'll, I'll check in on that uh, once... Uh, once I'm back near home. But yeah, once that gate ship is set up, I'll set up a gate at the home system, which will be really nice to be able to gate from our system to anywhere. So I don't need independent missions. For me to pick up um, Tri-Tech missions, we'll go closer to Hybrasil and see what is offered. So I'm going to work on Tri-Tech relationship first because we're almost out of host open hostilities with them, which will uh, increase the accessibility of our home planets. And then with that money that I'm doing these missions, um, what I can do is I can improve, like, I'll do a mega port at uh, Nick the Good, but I'll just keep it reinvesting in my home planets uh, for now. There it is, a derelict ship for TriTac. So, sure, we'll accept. And we'll just keep pulling in these sort of general missions until we have a nice amount of them to run. Also head uh, sort of in the Persian League um, territory because we can also do some Persian League missions. I'm way further in the hole with Persian League and that will require a lot more um, there's a survey for them. That will require a lot more effort but it's ultimately going to I think going to be worth it. Um to normalize relationships, only so that we can, you know, do smuggling and trade and all that. Oh, uh, no longer being offered? Wait, that was offered like a quarter of a second ago. Man, that was withdrawn quickly. So I'm not actually trying to ally them. I'm just trying to make it so that we can trade and smuggle to them without them opening fire on us. Which honestly is like very much a pirate thing to do, right? Like you don't want open hostilities because that doesn't make life easier. And because we have a pretty well-known gate network now of a, a bunch of different gates everywhere in the galaxy, it's very easy for us to run these missions efficiently um, because of the known gates that we have. Okay. So this is... Oh, Beta-I. I don't actually... Shouldn't have picked that up because going to Beta-I sucks. 
we can we can sort slip search there and slip search back. That's in the abyss, which is annoying. Oh, hello. I'm trying to befriend you, so I'm not going to attack you this time. All right, so let's go to the acceptance. There's a bunch in the northeast quadrant, so I'll do that first. Uh, there's actually some un inact uh, non-activated gates, so I'm going to go to Kanan here and activate the gate of Kanan. Might as well have all the inner system gates activated. This gate is somewhere in the southeast. So let's go south to like Zuq and work our way north. Do like a counterclockwise. Um, these aren't actually missions; these are just blueprints. So we we could just do like a reverse scythe looking thing. So Zuq is our first stop, which is near Eros. And doing all these missions, I have to be very careful about fuel. Um, yeah, I should have topped more fuel. Uh, Alright, uh, let me go top up fuel now. Because we're going to get stranded if I keep going. Ashimoto, thank you for the, uh, the, the sub. And with the extra money, we'll do another mega port. There's just like a nab booty floating around here. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let me leave that because this is like not a terrible world to potentially own sometime in the future, so I don't want to necessarily break a nav beacon that might be useful. Uh for me to top up fuel, I'll go um I'll go to Yama and buy pirate fuel. See how much pirate fuel I can buy. Probably need more than this. Who knows? There was no slipstreams that I, I saw. You really, like, generally speaking, you do not want to be in deep space with uh, dwindling fuel. Even if there's, like, slipstreams and surges around for you to use, because if you're stranded, you're screwed. Because of the lack of money that I have, I'm going to need to go back to the home system and withdraw fuel from home. But I, get enough, I have enough fuel to afford that now. I would have dropped off the... If any of these ships undemod, by the time I get home, I'll drop them off. <laughs> Look at these sensor arrays. Topping up. Is there a drug running to be made? Uh, Epiphany and Galatia. Uh, so yeah, I'll do that as a side thing. And then we'll, we'll work on everything else. Oh, I don't have room for it. I'll just do Epiphany.
Hmm. See about bringing Glitch with its shielded cargo, and maybe I can get away with spender cargo holds, efficiency, overhaul. How much room does that afford me? Yeah, it affords me enough room. Perfect. I'll do that. Because having a smuggler ship uh, on me at all times is nice. I do uh, have a bit more crew than I need. You're right. I can peer down costs a little bit. There we go. Oh, uh, I did want to know... Gate Hauler will be here in about 100 and... Here, let me hit that as important. 161 days. And then there is a new Pather Interest. Um, so there, I'm being harassed by Pathers, I think, already? Not, not quite yet, but soon. And maybe on this trip, I'll smuggle to Epiphany and then activate the e uh, Eos Exodus gate. It's the last Core Worlds gate I have not activated as far as I know. The Pathers never give up. The, uh, when you consider that the, um, the, the path is a... It's an ideology. It's not more so than just a faction. They are just constantly going to harass you. There's there's really no way to avoid that. What you can do is you can mitigate it by just making yourself a difficult target to, to kill or be harassed by. So no, there's without mods, there's no way to like wipe out a faction. That's not a, a goal. What was the other? It was Galatia, right? It was somewhere in Galatia. So I won't activate that. So gate yet for this run. Alright, some more missions to pick up. Oh, nice. Another one at Zoo Q. Alright, who's buying this? Oh, Karas will pay more. Uh, so sorry, mining station, but I have a better seller, a better buyer now. How sad? I think it's in the works eventually, uh, but there's obviously mods that you can install for Star Sector. Like, I'm playing vanilla, but there's mods that you can install to allow you to do more 4x for, like, conquering. But, uh... Unless you have those mods installed, there's no way to, like, conquer and destroy factions. Alright, fuel's all topped up, and we're good to go. So let's hop through this gate and then start to do our missions. I think... No, there's still not colony threats from LUDs yet. I'm surprised. I just, I, I, I think it's been like a year since I disrupted them. So I'm surprised that they're not back yet. Callie, you're fully repaired. Structural damage is done. I'll probably end up ditching the Legion for the Pegasus. Pegasus system's more useful to for knocking out um, enemy uh, stations. All right, so we're here. I want to get to Zuku. I can do that by using the black hole to the north. Cut it out. Oh my God. I actually might launch a bit too far, but whatever. It's fun. Ah! Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
once way too far, but there's a slipstream that I can take back. Black holes launch you way further than, uh, than like red giants or blue giants. It's basically the stronger the gravity well, the further the launch. So what am I doing here? I'm surveying a barren world and finding a derelict ship which is orbiting a jump point. So let's go to the jump point. Well, that was easy. And doing these missions, uh... Improve my relation with the Persian League by five. So what we're trying to do is get out of the open, vengeful or, or um, hostile war with those factions. Ludic Path, I don't care. Um, but Persian League, Trine Tank, even the Ludic Church, hypothetically, raising it up so that it's not openly hostile. It's not openly hostile right now, it's just suspicious. But raising it up so that there's no like constant hostilities um, has some advantages. Although my feelings personal about the Ludic Church is they can go to hell. Or whatever they believe in as hell. Whereas personally, League and Tritac, I'd rather normalize relations. And there we go. So we're just one point away from uh, ending hostilities with Tritac. That's nice. Uh, not really any other points of interest here. There's a lot of things around this star, though. It's so one in Rome. So that doesn't make sense here, but while we're here, might as well poke around a bit before moving on. The penalty for failing the missions is far less than the bonus for completing them, so I'm not too concerned about the time allotted for them. Yeah, this is definitely one of the systems where there's just, like, tons of stuff. Debris fields. Old ships and probes and the like. Old mining stations. I don't know why they're trying to attack me. Okay. Whatever. They want to die. You know, well, acquiesce to their request. Because they attacked me, uh, they're pirates too. Normally, pirates don't attack me, but because they wanted to, I am not getting penalized for it unless I, like, pursue them or do extra damage beyond the initial con conflict. So, this is a fight that I can destroy them and it doesn't really matter. It's their funeral. Yeah, I've got like three very spicy dominators and a 14th, one of them is 14th legion, a 14th, uh, one of them is a 14th dominator rather, and a 14th legion with me. It's like, they're gonna get blown out of the sky so fast they're never gonna know what happened. But like, that's fine. It's more salvage for me. I don't even have other ships I want to deploy, so I don't even care about the uh, capture points, really. Just wrap this fight up. Oh, yes, the combat mudskipper. I might be able to walk away with some fresh uh, eradicators. Come on, lasers, finish it up. You can see how little the like tack and grab lasers do without following up with a wep uh, weapons that do hull damage. 
So I'll turn back towards it in a second. I just thought my lasers would kill it, but they didn't. And now they're being body blocked by all this garbage. My mule did get disabled, but I didn't actually intend to field the mule in combat. That was a mistake. A sloppy quick misclick on my part. Oops! I didn't think shooting my tack lances would overload me. Come on, Dominators, get in the game. I'm just gonna fortress and back up to the Dominators. That Eradicator did escape. Yo, how about you, aren't you on full, yeah, you're on full assault. Don't seem like it. Right, I'm gonna do a risky vent, given that they have like, big guns pointing at me. And let's, oh, they knocked out my tack lances. But now that I don't have high flux, uh, I'll be able to clean the rest up. With damage, but you know, whatever. Just, just a little damage. It's mostly cosmetic, given that I'm a scrapper. Aaron's are pretty easy kills. Awful support ships, yeah, they're they're shield punchers. Um, I, bringing eradicators would have been better. Eradicators make for very good escort ships. Dominators are better at like taking out like ships and things. But you know, whatever. I wanted to undemod them. That was the main concern. So they're. Not being useful in this instance is, like, not the, a problem. Alright, I am quite surprised that they haven't retreated yet. And also, like, uh, legions are more um, useful for pressure and suppression. They're not like ship killers exactly. So it doesn't, and it's not much of a surprise that it hasn't intercepted it like on my behalf. Because that's just not what they're made for. Oh, there goes one of the dominators. Hope it doesn't get another demod. All right, enemy fleet is destroyed or uh, defeated, but uh, there's still more targets and I'm just gonna keep punching. Get a free Heron, maybe a Colossus. I am not uh, allying the other factions. I'm just trying to normalize relations with them so that I can smuggle to them without them lighting me up. Yeah, they're gonna escape. All right, that's fine. Victory. Let them go. So, I think Fameface already had a demod, so it, I don't think it got extra demods. I don't want their other ships. Ooh, you know, Maybe I'll take another pirate mule, actually. So I am slightly over my cargo capacity. And I'm very close to my crew. Oh no, we're actually under strength crew. Because of the destroyed ships. Eh. Okay. Um, did I do everything that I needed to do here? I think I did. So let's 
bounce out of here. And what I could do is I can go back to the inner systems and um, hire a bit more crew and and uh, refuel. Unless there's another mission nearby. Green? Yeah, I'll go to Green. That's pretty close. I didn't want to transverse jump out because I was already pretty damaged. Didn't want to risk blowing up any ships. There was actually a slipstream that... No, that doesn't take me to core. Never mind. Because there's a fair chance that, like, the places, the new systems that the mission has me uh, going to, it's quite possible that these new systems have... Um... Oh, yeah, a new ship, right. Uh, it's, it's quite possible that these new systems uh, will have gates of their own. So, giveaway for the new pirate meal. And, uh, good luck. So I'm taking the pirate meals um, simply because I, I want smuggling ships in my fleet that can hide illicit things on scans. Ooh, it's a desert world. Nice. There's a lot happening here, too. I have some uh, uh, lieutenants to fire. And they had information about vast ruins. So at Old Milix, there's a vast ruins planet. Got it. So dismissed. Dismissed. I don't want to pay salaries for captains I can't use. There is a... Um, there is a... Uh, skill points that can get you more captains but until I have um, officer training and officer management like there's no point in me holding on to them and that wasn't the path that you that previous streams had voted for me to pursue and there's ruins here too with an administrator Mimis Phobos Really? You got named after two different moons? <laughs> Alright. Your parents just look at the, uh, the solar system of Sol and go, Alright, we'll name you after some old moons. Blueprints for a Grendel? And a beta core? And our um, storage is basically full. So, like, it stands to reason I should probably venture back home. Uh, our relationship with TriTac is now inhospitable, but that does not mean it's going to be open combat, which means that at Agraville, the hostilities with other factions it used to be like 36% negative. Now it's only at negative 24%, so it's been improving, which is great. Um, spaceports are still upgrading. I don't think I want to spend the money at the moment for a bigger battle station. I'm going to save up a little bit more money for, uh, for running costs for this fleet. Because, you know, keeping this fleet up is also expensive. Uh, so there was no gate there. My fuel will allow me to go to the next point, even though I'm a little under crude. So let's continue to Epsilon Anyang and hope that there's like a gate there for me. I could hop from uh, solar system to solar system looking for gates. Can't I set up the wormhole? Um, it will need to recalculate for about a year. So no, I can't just wormhole back. Uh, because the anchor point that I had set up, anchor point Foxtrot, takes about a year to uh, calculate. So if once you set up two wormholes, uh, it's... It, oops, I almost exited. Once you set up two wormholes, it takes about a year for the wormholes to like calculate for traversing them. 
So it's it's not something I can just use as like a dial home device and and get home quickly. Uh, so here it's a derelict ship that's near a jump point. Well, there's a, only one jump point, so that makes it very easy to find. There's a bunch of drone ships, which is interesting. I'm not going to be able to, like, um, salvage them, but very interesting that it's um, a debris field of drone ships. Like, this is a brilliant. And the other was, was an Apex and a Lumen and... Oh. That's a bit of a weird bug. I don't know why there would be a human lieutenant in a AI drone ship. Not bug, as just it doesn't canonically make sense. One could make the argument it's a bug. Scintilla. Fulgent. With information about a habitable world. Which is here at Enyang. Uh, which is probably this tundra world. Stands to reason. Alright. Pirate. You are now named... Little friend. So now when I deploy this ship in combat, I can say, say hello to my little friend. I might as well check out that uh, Tundra world. There's no gates here though, so I'm not getting home easy. Alright, these are all human ships. Uh, there was also that lieutenant I needed to fire. A hidden cache. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back later. These ships are, um... 14th Battle Group Automated Onslaught, a 14th Battle Group Automated Legion, 14th Battle Group Automated... Yeah, so, so yeah. Well, I'm going to need a, a, a good fleet to take that on. I don't have that at the moment. So there is a very nice cache, a hidden cache at uh, Anyang, or Enyang, or whatever it's called. Noted. Another... Room in. Oh, hey, uh, yeah, I'll take that. You know, I just had a giveaway, so I'm going to run this again. Steel Boot, you are now this brand new Eradicator. Oh my god, there are so many crewmen or uh, captains in these dead ships. I've been hoping to find crew. I just found 25 crew. Because if I get a little bit more crew, I can actually run the ships without them being uh, understaffed. All right, let's fire some more people. You're gone. You're gone. So hidden cache there. Let's head over to the hab world. And I'm oversupplied, so let's dump some metals. Sentinel Gantries. With some weapons in them. With a 14th Eagle and a 14th uh, Enforcer. Uh, I'm going to leave that there because I don't even have the capacity to do anything with them right now. And... Uh, I'm going to auto fit the ships I have. This is a, um, this is a, an abandoned, um, shipyard so I can refit my things. In fact, I could hypothetically, uh, try to do efficiency overall, uh, overhauls to the, oh no, I'm not in dock. This is like a non-dock refit. Yeah, it's fine. 
So there's an, I can't do big changes here. I was going to try to do efficiency overhauls so that I can run with a smaller crew because this reduces the minimum crew by 20% because I'm missing some crew, but no, I can't do that. I just change the weapons around a little bit. That's fine. Uh, I'll use as many ordnance points as I can. Thank you for tuning in to Star Sector Scrappy Privateer, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 26th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you on next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow privateers.